Hi, I'm Jeet from Espresso Tech Sales and Service. Today we're going to do a video featuring the Gaja MDF and we're just going to show you how to take off the upper, uh, take out the bean hopper and take out the upper burr, how to clean it, how to calibrate it, and kind of just show you the guts of the grinder. So we're going to first off, we have the MDF right here. Uh, start off by taking off the bean hopper lid. And, well before I start actually, uh, a couple of tools that you'll be needing are just placed right here. Uh, so you'll need a Phillips screwdriver, a medium or a small. Uh, dental pick is nice, uh, just you need to use it to take out the guard. So you do need a, a pick of some sorts, make your life a lot easier. And I have here a 7mm nut driver. So if you're just going to be cleaning your grinder, you just basically need the screwdriver and the pick. But to recalibrate it, you will need uh, the nut. So I'm going to go ahead and first, if you look in the top of the bean, once you take the bean hopper lid off, if you look on the top, you'll see two little rubber pieces, and those need to be removed. Those are kind of caps uh, over the screws. And then what that does, it's a neat little thing that Gadget did, but it prevents beans from kind of going on top of your screw, and then when you're taking it out, it's a pain and having to vacuum it out. So I just basically take a pick, and then just dab into the side of it. You could just dab in the top, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it'll damage it. But once you stab it on the side, it'll just pop right off. I'm going to place that on the side here, and then the screw is exposed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other side here. Got a little bit of the top on that one, but it's still all good. So the pick's job is pretty much done for now. I'm going to go ahead and remove the two screws holding the bean hopper in place. And this is just regular ready tidy lefty loosey. So I don't really recommend taking out the screws completely, like I loosen them fully but uh, leave them in the hopper. It just makes reassembly a lot easier because trying to get the screw back in that hole, it's going to wind up in the burrs and then you have to take it apart again. So make your life a lot easier just simply loosening the screws completely and then just lifting straight up on the hopper. I'm going to place that out of the way here. <coughs> Next thing, I'm going to remove this little cover right here. Uh, so I'm going to remove first the ground bin uh, cover. And with that removed, then I'll be removing this piece right here. So it's just two Phillips screws just on the side. And it's the same, you know, this one is a black piece. There are Gadget MDF stainless steel versions that this piece is stainless steel. But it's no different uh, in construction. So with this out of the way, you can see a little bit more of the grinder's internals. You can see <coughs> that is the collar on the top of the motor uh, which uh, basically inside is the lower burr and then the upper burr is on this ring. When you would change your grind setting uh, it'll basically rotate it and when you're when you're tightening the grind setting uh, and making it more fine there is a limiter so you can't completely just loosen off the bean hopper and pull it out uh, that limiter will stop you both ways from tightening it too much and having the burrs jam against each other or loosening it completely so this is where uh, the job of the 7 mil nut driver comes in place there's these two nuts here which basically are your posts uh, for your bean hopper to be held in so just like that righty tighty lefty loosey we'll take them out So I'm going to go ahead and just remove basically uh, you can see adjustment ring uh, which has the numbers on it. I'm just going to take it off and pull it aside. And you can just loosen the bean hopper from uh, the upper burr holder here, but it's quite stiff because um, <clears throat> there is this basically uh, an indent pointer here and the indent pointer kind of holds it in place and it keeps that grind setting from moving so while you're grinding it's not shifting it around. So I find it easiest to just take the bean hopper, slot it in place, and you can't just throw it in in any position. There's four indents into the upper burr holder. So you want to line up these uh, posts with those indents, and then it'll just slide right in. Now it's just simply loosening the upper burr. And you know you're nearing the end when that clicking noise stops. So I'm just going to go slowly remove the upper burr. I'm oh, sorry, the bean hopper out of the way. And now I'll be able to remove the upper burr and upper burr holder. So one, once this is removed, you can have access to fully clean it out. And I suggest using, uh, you know, a group head brush actually does a very good job on taking it up 
you know, taking out the grease or the coffee grinds uh, or a grinder brush if it's nice and light, you can just brush it away. And you just want to make sure everything's clean, uh, especially the threads. You want to prevent coffee from going into these threads, so I like to ensure that that's nice and fully clean before reassembly as well. So I'll just put that aside and you can take a look at the internals of the grinder. So that's a lower burr again. Uh, the MDF is running 50 millimeter flat burrs. And so with this open, you can then brush away the grinds from the threads itself. This is a, this is a much more thorough approach. Uh, you can just run grinds cleaner through on a medium setting and grinds will do an amazing job. They'll remove odors and little particles, but over time, the coffee oils and the buildup, it's just much better to take it apart and do a manual clean. So I suggest using you know, a brush or a vacuum, cleaning around. Uh, you can actually remove the lower burr if you want to and, and clean it, but I would suggest that if you are removing the lower burr, uh, to fully clean it and ensure there's no coffee left before retightening it. So at this point, if you're changing out the burrs, you would simply use there's a 14 mil nut here, uh, but you'd loosen these three screws and the lower burr will pop right up. And then from the upper burr holder, you do the same procedure. You remove these three screws, one, two, and three, and it comes right off. Uh, the upper and lower burr are identical, uh, so it doesn't matter if you put them in the wrong place. Uh, just change both out at the same time. So once you have everything cleaned out, you can use um, pressurized air. Uh, so we use compressed air to blast it out, vacuum it out, clean it out. But once you're satisfied with the job that's been done, now comes reassembly. So we're going to go ahead and put the upper burr in place. So I like to rotate it counterclockwise until I feel it kind of sit in place. And once you have that little bit of a drop, then I go ahead and tighten it in place. So I'll go ahead and tighten it until <clears throat> I start to feel too much resistance. And then to make life a lot easier, I will then just tighten with the bean hopper. I'm going to go ahead, same deal, line up the slots, drops right in, and then go ahead and tighten it down. Now at this time, to get the proper zero position, you want the one setting to be basically right before the burrs start to touch. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the grinder, I already have it plugged in, and I'm going to slowly tighten down the upper burr until I start to hear the burrs touching, and that'll recalibrate my zero position. Looks like I had a lot more threads to go. So I'm going to call it there. Uh, that's basically that noise, that, that pitch change that you heard was the burr starting to touch. Uh, and you don't want it to be completely, you know, a huge change uh, in pitch because you don't ever need to really grind it that fine. Um, I personally would stop at this point and keep this as my zero and then just you would grind a bit coarser. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the upper, sorry, the bean hopper out of place. And I'm going to attach on uh, basically the number guide. So since this is zero, this is your zero position, I'm going to be placing it right here and have the stopper stop it right there. So I have one lined up right in the front and I'm good to go. Now you'll see on the number guide here, there's little channels, and that's where those nuts will go in, and there's room to basically adjust it uh, and, and basically re-zero it without having to take it completely apart if it's just a minor adjustment. But in this video, we took it apart to do a cleaning, um, so that's why you didn't necessarily need to take this off. To, to recalibrate it, you can, in essence, loosen the screws, back it off just a little bit, tighten the screws back on, put the bean hopper on, and then you just get a little bit more you know, range in the fine region. So everything's good to go. Stop the talking and start reassembling it. So this is just hand tightening these first, just because it's delicate brass on brass. Then with your thumb holding this pointer or well, the stopper in place, I will go ahead and then just butt up these nuts. Now what you want to do is you're going to be lining up basically those two posts with these two uh, screw holders and they should go in along with the fork uh, little pointers into the upper burr holder. 
awesome terminology right now. But so if I line that all up, everything fits. The upper uh, burr holder is properly securing uh, the bean hopper, and also the two posts are lined up with the screws. So uh, that's how you would tighten it up. <coughs> first comes first, though, you would put. Uh, your cover in. So now that we know that the nuts are in the proper position, I'm going to go ahead and screw this piece right in here. I like I like putting the hopper in first just because of the fact that you can ensure that everything is lined up. It's a little easier with this out of the way. One more step, but still. that goes right there. Go ahead and tighten those screws and again because I didn't remove the screws it's gonna be quite easy uh, otherwise you know at this point you'd be using needle nose or gently putting those screws back in but it's quite easy to accidentally drop it in the burrs. So with everything tightened up I'm gonna go ahead put the little screw covers in place put on the bean hopper lid doser lid here back it off to about an eight and there we have it so that's basically uh, our guide on how to take out the bean hopper how to remove the upper burr holder and the upper burr how to take out the burrs um, for burr removal and cleaning out the grinder assembly and give it a good full manual clean and also recalibrating the grind setting so thanks for checking out our video uh, and as always stay tuned for the next one